What's up guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring Kita Edition! <laughs> Creepy stuff going on here, right? We got these roots with all the dead people who are part of it that now you can like clearly see here. I didn't realize that before, but I don't think you can see the dead people as much in other areas. Uh, but now you can see like the, the dead people are like clinging to the roots, so... That's a cool detail I actually didn't notice before, and like up there too. Uh, anyways, probably this church. This is the church, uh, the Cathedral of the Forsaken. Would be where like Moog and Morgat were probably raised. We're gonna go beyond it to the secret area that I opened up last time. So let me just double check that this time, this stuff's working and uh, things are get to get, about to get really interesting as we can see from that guy right there. And all of these guys, oh yeah. Things have gone a little crazy. Wait, did I do my level? Okay, just there's some platforming stuff here. I want to make sure I leveled up. So, uh, yellow ember. So that's related to the madness stuff. And this is also where we were told to go by Shabriri. Uh, if you can't tell, the instrument that that person has right there was the same that we've seen the nomads using, the merchants. So, Grace Mimic. Let me put on this thing. Yeah. I got my lantern. Uh, okay, so... Uh, oh, yeah, you can go down this way. Yeah, tons and tons of these guys who've gone absolutely insane. Who've gone mad, who've died. Um, and that's going to really be important here and come into play. Which is why I bring it up. Yeah, if you're wondering, like, which ones are alive and which ones aren't, you can just start, like, targeting... And you'll like you'll find one by doing that. So I thought you have to kill all of them. Yeah, this area is awesome. It's so creepy. This was one of those areas in the game uh, that's just like a oh shit type of moment. And I love when these games has have those moments. Um. Okay, just making sure we didn't see anybody there. Yeah. Let's do some minor platforming stuff here but this one's not so bad it doesn't get hard yet <laughs> it will get hard in a moment frenzied cookbook 2 makes sense uh there we go i was gonna say i knew that you could see one of them playing the their instrument there again indicating these would be like the nomads uh and the merchants and what happened to all of them so this is a little indicator there of that um let's look at the frenzied cookbook again just as a reminder about it, since it's been a while since looking at one. So, a record of crafting techniques left by those afflicted by the madness of the Flame of Frenzy. Contains techniques discovered in Desperation. And I think the Desperation thing is going to be the, uh, the key thing here. The key word. Yeah, I feel bad killing these guys, but then again, kind of just taking them out of their misery, right? Hefty beast bone, but it's not like they're coming for me. They're just crazy. It just got insane from everything. Can you blame them, though? Can you blame them? Uh, okay, I don't know which... I always have trouble with this. This thing's so tough to tell. Um, I guess I could just go through this one down here. I don't know if I've ever actually taken this way. I think usually I jump to that further one. But, yeah, this... Actually, you know what I should do here, just to be safe about it? Because this could take a few tries. Dun, 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 dun. Don't know if this is going to work for me. Huh? Okay. And... Um... Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like what I want is this one. So I'm going to jump, and that might have been too far. Okay, it worked out. Now I'm going to want this to the corner there. Um... Yeah, I think I want to go over there. Yeah, this is like one of the hardest platform things in the game, I think. All right, and then that. Oh God, oh God, no! See you guys in a moment. <laughs> nope. 
Fuck you. Hey! I landed! Hey! That time I made it, but I still feel like I'm in a bad spot right now. God, this is so terrifying. Okay. And hopefully this one's just a roll. Yes. Inescapable Frenzy. Finally made it. Okay, so I think I missed this my other time going for it, but I think what you're supposed to do is actually leave somebody to destroy that for you. Oh my god. Okay, let me look at these things before I forget about them. So. One moment. Okay. Inescapable Frenzy. Incantation originating from the Maddening Three Fingers. To gaze into one another's eyes is truly the most intimate form of human contact. And then we also got the fingerprint shield. A great stone shield with an intricately carved fingerprint design. One of the heaviest of all great shields, part of the tomb of an ancient god. The readerless fingers relay their message through these imprints, said to be the very seeds from which Frenzy first sprouted. The readerless fingers relay their message. Hmm. Because there's like a lot about f when and where Frenzy started, and it's weird to me that it would be like the readerless fingers, but maybe they were in this area for a reason. So it should be someone who I can lure over there, to my understanding. Maybe this guy? I don't want to kill him then. Okay, yo, follow me. <laughs> so, the thing I'm trying to do is that there's an item in here that I've never been able to get, and apparently you have to have some enemy, like, break this for you. But I don't know how, so... Uh, and it's a really interesting one with some really crazy lore stuff in it, so that's why I want to have that, but again, I don't know what enemy... Oh, maybe it's this guy. Yo, bro. Let's do this. I mean, I feel like it has to be one of the bigger guys, but I guess we'll see. Come on. Like, maybe he casts his, like, frenzy thing on me over here? I don't know. Come on! What are you doing? You lunatic? For real? Okay, what are you doing? Follow me over here. I'm too far away for you. F come follow me. Ugh. Come on. You're getting very close, but still not close enough. And I have a feeling it's still not going to break it, but at least I can hope, right? I feel like I'm going to have to do like a fast forward or something with this. Wait. Did it work? Oh, right when I said it. No, nope, Mikola's needle. What? That's all it was? That's not what I wanted. Oh, whatever. Nope, Mikola's needle. Psh. I thought this was going to tell us about the lore of these guys. Um, I actually never got this in my own game. Vampiria and Mikola crafted a needle to resist the influence of outer gods. Those who've inherited the Flame of Frenzy yet wish not to become its lord would do well to seek Mikola's needle. So there's something that I thought could get destroyed here. Maybe it was further up that, like, says who these guys are. And basically, it was the... I mean, I'll just say it. Basically, it was the nomads who summoned the finger, the three fingers. Um, and that's what I was looking for, because that's, like, a really interesting piece of lore that, like I said, is here somewhere. So uh, maybe it's, like, was upstairs or something. No! Who would have ever thought that would happen? Hey, look who it is! Our finger maiden. Remember her? Also, oh, you know what? Did I talk to Melina before? Because I should be able to hear. Let's talk to her at the Cathedral of the Forsaken first. And then we'll talk to her at the other one. So let's see. Talk to Melina. If you intend to claim the Frenzied Flame... I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life and thought unending. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. There is beauty in that. Is there not? 
If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Please, leave the frenzied flame alone. I shall see to the kindling. It is a purpose which I choose to fulfill. So please, leave the frenzied flame alone. I shall see to the purpose. Yeah, so it was actually this bit of dialogue here uh, that clued me in on the fact that there was this secret altar that made me hit it in the first place. So thanks, Melina. You're the reason I found this. <laughs> But she actually, I think she has a good point in what she's saying, to be honest. Like, I would consider this to be the worst ending, probably. Other than, again, you could argue that it's, uh... Why is Talk to Melina? It's interesting. They added this little highlight thing next to Talk to Melina. Um, that's new. But, I mean, I guess you could argue the Dung Eaters one is worse. I ask you one more time. Please, seek not the frenzied flame. As one who strives to become a lord, deny not the lives, the new births of this world. Those who would are not fit to be called lord, when the land they preside over is lifeless. Please, put a stop to this madness. The lord of frenzied flame is no lord at all when the land they preside over is lifeless. Please, the lord of when the land... Okay, I've heard what you have to say, Melina, but I'm gonna get a second opinion from Hayeta. Huh. So you're here as well, are you? I realized as we've talked, I'll be a maiden, and you, surely a lord, go to the door ahead. After divesting yourself of your possessions, it will surely open, and the three fingers will welcome you. May the flame of chaos find purchase within you. So yeah, she's basically telling us just to go naked. Go to the door ahead. It will surely... So uh, I hadn't found her my first time, and I actually had to ask a buddy who's playing at the same time as me how to how to do that. I was like, what? How, how in the world do you get this door to work? Because if I walk up to it right now, as I am, uh, even though it seemed like a horrible idea, like I couldn't do anything. I like how it looks like the Book of Necronomicon, doesn't it? I'm not going to do it this episode or this time. I'll do it later. At some point I am, um, just for the sake of doing everything. I'll decide if I want to do it before lighting the flame because I've never seen the cutscene over here for lighting the flame and I'm curious. Uh, but maybe I will, maybe I won't. Obviously, I'll piss Melina off. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, and I'll fast forward it, is I'm going to check to see if there was something I missed here that you could use the these mad nomads to destroy that would give that bit of lore I wanted. So I'm going to check into that, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Oh, you know what? This might be where it is. Eh, I'll try. Yep, there it is, the Nomadic Merchant's Finery. This is what I was looking for. All right. Cool, so the Nomadic Merchant set is what I wanted. So this is the really interesting one that I was talking about. Uh, so here we go. Chapeau of the Nomadic Merchants, decorated with tiny gems in a wide spectrum of colors. These merchants once, uh, once thrived as the Great Caravan but after being accused of heretical beliefs, their entire clan was rounded up and buried alive far underground. Then they chanted a curse of despair and summoned the flame of frenzy. So this, to me, is the indicator that they are the reason that the flame of frenzy started in the first place. Um, and they were driven to it because of the greater will and uh, probably America, who I'd assume put them under here at the orders of the greater will. That'd be my guess. I mean, I could be wrong, but seems likely to me. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what's going on there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this in a weird order. Uh, I'm actually going to go here first. And then when I finish that, I'll go ahead and explore this area in full. Um, but yeah, anyways, when I kept on talking about how the, uh, 
the nomadic merchants were, or sorry, not the nomadic merchants, how like, it seems like the way that the problems were solved in this game was by just burying it. You know, I really meant that, that like, it seems like a lot of the things that they don't like, they just bury, right? So it's like, it was this, it was the, um, the city, the internal city they put underground because it wasn't what they agreed with. So it's like, it seems like a pretty common theme here. You know what, actually, to be honest, you don't have to really kill any of these guys, so... I don't think there's much reason to. And so I'm not going to. These are basically just, like, the exploding guys from before, except for they have... This other kind of explody. Ooh. You know, I bet <laughs> this stone I want might be down there, but that's okay. Newman's Rune. Do I not have one yet? Because it showed up in the center. I'll check it out later. I'll check it out later. Here we have a giant one of these things. Uh, no big deal, since I can just stun lock it into submissions. So that's kind of nice, actually. Big old slime ball. I mean, I don't know where it's going to, but all right. To be honest, the reason that I wanted to do this, though, is just because, like, um, do this. Like, go to Moog first. Oh god. <laughs> Am I gonna end up like hitting it off? Could be. Alright, bye. <laughs> nice. It's just because I find this boss really difficult, so I'd like to just start going at him <laughs> and trying it. Alright, what's this way? Oh, is this. No, not, not a shortcut. Stone store key. Oh, nice. I need another one of those. Um, cool. Looks good to me. Yeah, we're going to find in a moment what these are all worshipping. Um, but, yeah, Dynasty of Blood. Uh, so we know that the Dynasty of Blood is here. We've already heard that from uh, Vare, and that's how we transported here. So we already know that at the very least. Blood Rose. And I think we already found out that Moog is the one who's heading it up, so I don't think any of that's, like, a new. I don't remember this being on fire from far away, but now if you look at it, it's always going to be on fire. Okay. There's going to be some dudes who appear here. We just decide to show up. Warp in. Come on, do your warp ins. There we go. Oh yeah, these are the, like the uh, the nobles, right? That we've uh, already heard about, the sanguine nobles. So that's what's warping in here. Who we fought as a boss before. Also, look, another merchant whose tribe summoned the uh, the frenzied flame. Thank you for that. Uh, this guy has nothing I care for. Okay, but you know what? At least now he's on my map, and that was worth it for that. <laughs> Cool. Oh man. Probably should have gone behind him if I, if I had the moment to. Hey, that actually worked out. I dodged at the exact right time. Nice. Okay, uh, just gonna double check down here, make sure there's nothing I missed since I didn't fully really explore it. Uh, no, doesn't look like it. Yeah, this boss, I'd say, them going up to, probably took me the second longest of all the bosses in the... Or third? I, I don't know. I guess second longest because I didn't use, like, a Mimic 2 or anything. Lord's Rune. Oh, yeah, I still have to check the Newman one, too. Let's see. I think I already have both of them, but... Lord's Rune, yes, I did, and Newman I did, so... All right, nothing to look at. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. All right, where is it? Nice. <laughs> I wasn't actually sure if I'd be able to get that backstab off, so very nice. Very nice. Goodbye. Oh, just just able to take him out. Smithing stone eight. Indicating this, I guess, is technically an earlier area, I suppose. I mean, I don't know. I think this area is pretty rough. I'd say this is like endgame <laughs> to me. That's how I think of it. 
Maybe I just suck. Maybe. You know, I guess I can just hold this up because I'll see the sanguine nobles just slowly teleport in anyways. Okay, uh, I want to check out here because I didn't fully explore it. Oh, hey, look at that. Woke up a lot of these guys. But I got my great ghost glove wart that I'm 100% going to use. <laughs> totally. All right, that's all good. I don't. Th I think this is just where I came from was over there, so. Wait, oh, hey. I guess it wasn't where I came from. He's actually almost got me killed there. They really do a lot of damage, don't ya? So, okay, I came from this direction, I think. Because then up there to the left is the other one. Eh, let me just double check. Might as well double check. Uh, no, this is where, okay, I already, I came from here. I don't know, man, there's a lot of paths, you know? You gotta, you gotta give me that, right? Not a lot, a lot of paths. Yeah, that's the big area I oh, explored earlier. Wait, you know what I should do too? Ah! <laughs> anything? Anything? No? Okay. I didn't think there was. I'm pretty sure I explored all these walls on my first game. But just in case, now that I can do it, it's so much easier. Okay, nothing still. Any sanguine nobles gonna try to attempt another attack Akita. They don't know what's coming at them. Trying to attack Kita? What's wrong with them? That's just dumb. Invade White Mask Vari's world. Oh, sick. I definitely did not do that. I'm gonna invade White Mask Vari. That sounds awesome, because I think I don't have anything else to do with them. So, whatever. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's piss off Vari. I've actually never done this before. Maybe I'd already, like, um, defeated Vare or something like that in my other game. Or not Vare, sorry. I mean, like, I defeated the boss, so it took this away. Or I just didn't notice it. I don't know. All right, where the hell is Vare? I feel like I'm going to have to you do... Seek oh, there he is. Violence. Heedless of my warning, though you have been raised to a knight of the dynasty, I am pained to the very depths of my being. I'll oh, wow. ensure you regret this, my lambkin. Enjoy just because you, you keep calling me your lambkin is kind of weird, you know? I find it um, insulting. If you weren't like that, we'd be fine, Vare, but... You it's just annoying. I don't know. I don't like it. Oh yeah, he, now his like flowers are on fire. Oh, he's got actually a lot of. He's got more chugs. A lot of these guys only have like one chug. Oh god. Yeah, I knew I was gonna get that blood loss. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's heal. Yup. Got lucky that he tried to heal at the exact same time. Actually. I be disgraced. Rune arc. Oh, now I feel bad for killing because I didn't get anything interesting. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Let's see if I get anything interesting. Like his set or anything here. Nope. Um oh wait, it's Vare. Oh luminary Moog. Please grant the strength you promised. I have given everything, please, my lord. Please answer me, Luminary Moog. Bless the Moguin dynasty with love. Well, now I feel kind of bad. But I get, did get his bouquet, so that's pretty awesome. Because I was wondering how to get his bouquet, to be honest, and 
The fact that I got it, I mean, it's pretty sick. I didn't get his set though, unless I already have it. A steel mace, res a steel mace resembling a charming bouquet of roses. Each petal has sharpened edges, uh, has a sharpened edge, leaving the roses perpetually colored with blood. This weapon reflects White Mask Vare's manner of speech rather well, enticing in its splendor but full of deadly consequence. Maybe you shouldn't like summon people to come like be a part of this weird blood cult, Vare. This is on you, my man. Okay, uh, let's do uh, Steadily Restores HP. I'm going to switch that one for Purifies Lord of Blood's Curse in a Mixed Physic. I never actually used this in my personal game because I didn't know realize it until afterwards where I was like starting to look at a bunch of my items. I was like, what the? Why didn't I use this? And I was so upset with myself. But, um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and use this here because I'm going to have a bunch of these guys get really mad at me. Um, so that way, you know, I don't have to really worry about it as much. Yep. <laughs> ah, Kita. Yeah, I really I just want to grab the item and peace out. I don't really care about killing all these guys. Alright. Aw. Oh, the Albanaric. Hey, nice. I'm, I'm starting to get them, like, all on their own. That's all I'm trying to do. So I don't have to fight, like, a billion a bunch. Yeah, so it's funny that these Albanarics are red, who are following the blood cult. It's, like, interesting that it did it that way, but it's nice. But yeah, they're all looking up at that statue that I still haven't figured out what it is. So I'm still, like, super interested in what that statue is. Since, like, it seems like it's extremely important, you know? <laughs> Eh? At least they don't have the spiky car wheels. Albanarg blood clot. Okay, let's see if I can get a nice uh, backstab on this guy. On this sanguine noble. Not so sanguine after all. I mean, that insult makes zero sense, but it's okay. Ah, the somber dragon ancient smithing stone. That's what I've been waiting for all my life. Been waiting for this sucker. Ancient dragon lord seat said to lie beyond time. This stone lightly twists time, allowing the creation of a weapon capable of slaying a god. Uh, that description is going to come in a little more uh, interesting, I suppose you could say. A little later when we actually um, start finding out more about that god and going to areas relating to it. Okay. So yeah, the, I, I guess there's three people have been gone underground, right? There's the Band of the Hawk, there was all these ancient cities that were put underground, and there were the Nomads. So, again, just like, you have a problem, throw it underground, you know? That's the America way. Or so it seems. Alright, this will make it so it'll kind of be like a toss-up of which one I should use against Moog. I'm sure. Okay, I'll lay out my arms. Where's, uh... Where is it? Where is it? That's oh, a melee armament, so... It should be by Troll's Golden Sword, right? Or one of these? Oh, I still, oh this one has Somber too. Uh, wow. Look at those upgrades for that one. There it is. Alright, uh, okay. So 274. Yeah, nice nice raises there. We finally have that one to... Oh, about Roderico. What's what's up with Roderico? The girl has come a long way. As ever, time and technique have made her stronger. It is good to see. An imprisoned monster does not deserve an apprentice or a daughter, but at times that's precisely what she feels like to me. I've gone soft, and it isn't easy. Oh, that's nice. Nice little update there from our guy. Okay, so let's see. I want to compare stats. Uh, item type. Okay, 349 and 500. Oh, that's pretty easy, right? So 849, pure physical. This one's going to be um, 600 
plus 300 basically so like 900 a little over 900 so this one's 849 this one's a little over 900 so as long as he takes magic damage this one's definitely better if he doesn't take magic damage this one's going to be worse so i'll start with this one and then if i have to or i'll switch it up and that's just how it's going to be you know that's just how it's going to be uh, the beginning part of Moog is pretty easy with his charm, which I might end up using just to speed this along. Because, yeah, this is a rough fight. So, um, you know. <laughs> I have no idea how many tries this is going to take me. Hopefully less than the first time I fought him. It's all I can hope for. Look, it's that area that I came from one time. Oh, here we go. Can't wait. Oh, boy. I shouldn't be talking because it's a cutscene, but I'm talking. You must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. Oh, bright. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Let's do this, Moog. So, if you hit him enough, you can actually stun lock him. Um, so, that's probably what I'm going to go for here. Alright, so... I want to get him to the point where I can get, like, a power attack on him, basically. Boy, oh boy, this is growing great. Especially since I'm not really fighting him well. I was trying to get that attack more so than hitting him properly. Yeah, I think you can only really pull off that, uh, that thing that I was doing once. Or twice, I mean. Sorry about that bad, bad one. I didn't know there was a Steak America right there. That's nice. No, I'm just gonna... That's cool. All right, so here's where I'm gonna take... Oh, my God. Here's where I'm gonna take this thing. Supposedly, this makes it so it doesn't affect you. I hope that's true. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's like cracking my thing instead. That's awesome. Is that... Ugh. No! You know, I should have gone for uh, healing, but it's okay. I'm just trying to stagger him so bad. I started attacking, that was gonna explode. Again, I'm really just trying to stagger him. <laughs> moog, 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 di moog. All I want is to pull off a stagger. That's why I'm playing so poorly, don't you know? Okay, cool. Come on, Moog. There. Is that so hard? Apparently it is for you. No! Stop it with- oh god. I said no! 
I said no, Moog. I said no. Stagger! I want the stagger. That's all I'm asking for. Stagger him! Stagger! Yeah, he's just gonna do a stupid thing on me now. Well, that didn't work at all. Let me go behind him. Maybe I can get some hits on him while he's doing this crap. Nice. Well, that kind of worked, I guess. I'll take it. Alright, what you gonna do? Throw fire at me, eh? Try to explode me, eh? Run, ram right through me, eh? <laughs> nope. And... Oh, crap. I was early. I can't believe that I survived that. I can't believe I survived that either. Get away, Kita. Get away, Kita. Okay. I got plenty of health for this, so... That's the good news. The bad news is I'm still fighting Moog, so, you know. You gotta take what you can, I guess. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Nice. I'll only take one there. I don't want him to... Lord of Blood all over me. Because I'd like to get a heal off. And that was a mistake. This is where I really should be able to heal is that move. Nope, nope. Oh, no. Are you kidding? That's like the perfect move for getting, uh, for hitting him. All right. Moog, I hate you. <laughs> That's why I'm using the Guts Dragon Slayer. Also, I think it does a little more damage. I think. I think he's got that, like resistance great nice no at least I got one hit off on him there okay he's gonna explode but not on me all right there's so much fire everywhere Moog oh god oh god oh god I didn't even get one attack on him there! Are you kidding? Wow! Oh my god, I've been pulling off all these dodges exactly right, and I haven't gotten attacks on him. That's lame. And that it's the attack I didn't pull off correctly, and I did get attacks on him. It's funny. Nope. And slammy do. Uh oh. <laughs> do you like that? That uh oh there? That was good times, right? Nope! I know what you're doing there. Come on. Nah. Uh oh. Okay, you know, I just don't want to deal with that. I'm just saying. Lord of Blood. Psh. What type of blood are you using there? Doesn't seem to be very good. Now I'm saying. Oh god. He got mad about that one. He was like, What you say about me, my blood? I only use the finest blood. Because I'm the lord of blood. Blah. That's what you sound like, Moog. I'm just throwing that out there. It's embarrassing, but it's true. I'd be embarrassed, at least, if I were you. Very embarrassed. Nope. Oh. Let me play it safe here. Actually, that wasn't playing it safe, as it turns out. Because I could have gotten my hit in there. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Get that hit. Bam! Goodbye, Moog. Yeah, whatever. I don't. Anyways, that was the true Moog. Moog's great rune for that one, Remembrance of the Blood Lord. All right, so let's take a look at this stuff. Uh, da, 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 Remembrance of the Blood Lord. It's gonna be here somewhere. Wishing to raise Mikola to full godhood, Moog wished to become his consort, taking the role of monarch. But no matter how much of his bloody bedchamber he tried to share, ugh, he received no response from the young Empyrean. So, here we have Mikola. Uh, so, Moog, as you see during the intro to the game, 
uh, if you go back and rewatch, has stolen Mikola essentially. He's like taking Mikola from where? We'll find out. Spoiler, it's the Halig tree. Uh, but yes, yeah, so this is part of Mikola. I don't know if it's all of Mikola though, or just like a little bit that he has in this cocoon here. Because there was one arm, and I'll show you guys later the the fact that like he maybe didn't take the whole thing. Or maybe he thought he had, but it was just a part of it. But yeah, Mikola's nice dead body. I like how Mikola's supposed to be like tiny, right? Because he's perpetually a child. Uh, but he's absolutely huge there, so I don't know about that. I'm going to try to see if I can jump up onto there. Let me see if I can get some uh, Mikola action. It's funny, like, as much as I like to try to level up my intelligence for that stuff it just doesn't work out a lot of times like there's so many bosses that it feels like this weapon is still better for pure melee uh switching to my royal grade sword that's why i was leveling up my intelligence and let's see yeah look at that look at that uh-huh no oh come on no it wouldn't let me it wouldn't let me i tried though i did try i don't know if there's anything back here but i guess i'll take a look but yeah, so Moog, um, I guess we'll find out a little bit more about him in a moment, actually. Because I'm going to go activate his rune. His rune. And yeah, his rune's actually activated at the exact same spot as Morgoth's. And it, it hints to that. And this took me a while to figure out. I was like, where the hell is his divine tower? But it's going to be the same one as Morgoth's. Um, which I believe his rune actually says. I wonder what happens if you have both and you haven't picked up the great rune. That's actually intriguing to me. Seek the Divine Tower of East uh, Altus. Oh, so it just says right there this, which Divine Tower it is. All right, let's take Moog's Great Rune. Moog's Great Rune. All right. And so there's more Gots. There is Moog's. They look like similar spots on the Elden Ring to me. It's a blessing grants uh its blessings grants a blessing of blood to summon phantoms and imparts a phantom great rune upon successful invasion. Mog and Morgat are twin brothers, and their great runes are naturally similar. So this is what gives you that they're twin brothers. Um so that means that Mog, Mog is also part of the golden lineage. But Mog's rune is soaked in the cursed blood from his devout love for his wretched mire that he was born into far below the earth. And we're gonna go now to uh, see what boss weight items I can get and what lore comes from that, as well as talk to uh, Sir Gideon as he'll reward us and give us a little bit more information as well, because we found Mikola. So, you didn't really know where Mikola was. Alright, uh, actually, I wonder if there's any more of these I can grab. I can start buying some of these up, actually. And then I can continue other quest lines as well, because I'm finally buying this stuff. Because this is what you needed to be able to alter and buy that thing. Oh, wait. I'm going to do this one, too. Anyways, uh, Moog. For the Blood Lord. Okay. Trident into Moog, Lord of Blood, a sacred spear that will come to symbolize his dynasty. As well as serving as a weapon, as well as serving as a weapon, it is an instrument of communion with an outer god who bestows power upon a cursed blood. The Mother of Truth desires a wound. And Sacred Incantation of Moog, Lord of Blood. The Mother of Truth craves... Oh, thrust arm into the body of the Formless Mother. So, essentially, uh, Moog found the Formless Mother, which is another outer god. And I think that's where all, like, uh, probably bestowed the power of a cursed blood, I'm guessing. Because it was uh, communion with an outer god who bestows power upon a cursed blood. So I'm assuming that came from the Formless Mother. Uh, then scatter the blood flame to set the area ablaze. The Mother of Truth craves wounds. When Mo I'm guessing the Mother of Truth must be the Formless Mother. When Moog stood before her, deep underground, his accursed blood erupted with fire, and he was besotted with the defilement that he was born into. All right. A little bit about Moog and him getting this uh, idea of having the Formless Mother as the new head, new outer god. So another outer god basically competing for power through Moog as the vessel, just like how... Uh, Merrick is the vessel for the uh, Elden Lord. So, hey, Gideon. Let's talk to him about the Lord of Blood's cocoon. Ah, I see. So Mikola was with the Lord of Blood after all. That 
is some fine intelligence indeed. With it, the final clue has been brought into the light. One of the last few pieces the round table. I need to put everything together. As promised, allow me to impart to you the last of the secret rites known only to me. Alright, Law of Causality. Well, I wonder what comes next. If he continues his slumber within the cocoon, all would be well. But perhaps it would be safer to destroy it. Nicola is the one thing that remains a mystery to me. So that's, yeah, obviously referring to Mikola, who's in the cocoon. And I tried to destroy it, and you can't, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so I just got from him Law of Causality, which shows uh, basically the two laws here. I think I have the other one as well. Um, law of Regression. So there's Law of Regression, which is incantation of the golden order fundamentalists they describe the golden order through the power of regression and causality regression is the pull of meaning that all things yearn eternally to converge uh i think that would be essentially like the crucible right um where everything sort of melds together everything converges everything's all mel meshes is the same um but then there's law of causality so, one of the incantations of the Golden Order Fundamentalists. Both of them are. Okay. The Fundamentalists describe the Golden Order through the power of regression and causality. Causality is the pull between meanings, that which links all things in a chain of relation. Um, so, causality is essentially the idea that, like, uh, every cause has an effect. So, uh, it's basically that there's no... It goes down to there's no free will. And it's very berserk -y that everything... Causality and the law of causality... And berserk fighting against that, or guts fighting against that, essentially. Um, but it's that, you know, and it's also with a sh the show. Um, oh, what's it called? There's a show on Hulu that was pretty good. That was about the same thing. Devs. That was about the law of causality as well. Ah, secret medallions are united. I see you've laid your hands on the other secret medallion. I'm glad to see my council has borne fruit, but the honor of the deed is yours alone. You've made more of yourself than Ensha has. Now, more importantly, both secret medallions are in your hands. I suppose you'd like to know then. What awaits you on the path ahead? Me too, my friend. Me too. I wait with bated breath. Okay, so not really... Uh, you know, nothing really happens there. <laughs> I, I guess you don't have to tell him. But, um, okay, so let's explore the rest of this here. And, yeah, I think that'll be... That'll wrap me up. So, all right, Mogwin Palace. And, yeah, to go back to the law... Oh, God. Ha, ha, ha! That was great. Um, to go back to the law of causality... You know, the idea is that, um, let's say, for a basic, very basic example. This is going to be, like, similar to one to devs, actually. But let's say, like, I roll a pencil or something like that. So, uh, because of the way that physics works naturally and all of that, the pencil is going to roll a certain way no matter what. It's always going to do that once I roll it. Um, similarly not just related to physics but like what you do is as and like your choices are all all predetermined it's like um you you never really had any choice even though it feels like you do so me even describing this conversation to you is because i learned about the law of causality in the way that i learned about it and that's why i'm echoing things that i learned about it uh, the reason I'm doing it here specifically is because I played Elden Ring due to whatever set of circumstances. The reason that you're listening to this exact conversation right now, uh, again, is because you've been watching the other episodes, and then you wanted to see what this one was, and you decided to stay for whatever reason to this point. Uh, so, like, there's all that chain of cause and effect. So, if you keep on going all the way back, it was always going to happen, Right? That's, that's the argument of it. You never really had a choice in the matter. So, 
Uh, that's the law of causality. And it gets, I guess, a little dangerous in the sense of some people can like claim that something that they do that's bad or evil was always going to happen. So you can't really blame them. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I think some people like it. It's almost comforting in a way, I think. I don't like the law. I don't, I'd like to think I have free will, but everyone's different. Um, so yeah, like I said, some people find comfort in it, actually, I think. Because it's like, oh, if like, something bad happens, well, it was going to happen no matter what. You didn't really have a choice, right? Or if like, um, you're not making it. Uh, again, you never had a choice. You don't really have free will. So I guess this can be comforting in that regard. But yeah, like I said, I've never liked that idea. But, oh, God. Like, I never had a free will that I would survive this stupid turkey bird. <laughs> Oh, whoops. I forgot to take off the Lord of Blood thing. To be honest, I don't really see too much reason in um, dealing with all these things. It's just kind of like, they're kind of a pain in the ass, I think. It's like, might as well just run through. Get get what you want to get. For example, this thing right here. Uh, not that you probably need it by this point, but here's another golden seed. Another one of the many. Oh yeah, I think there is a PvP guy here, actually, now that I think about it. Which can be rough if you leave all the enemies alive, but... Eh, whatever. <laughs> this whole area is pretty rough. Hey, look, a bunch of... bunch of hanging dudes. That would make sense here, actually. Maybe they're getting its blood out. Its blood. So I think around here is where it should be. I could have sworn that one of these things had a PvP guy on it. But hey, until I see him get summoned, I guess I'm not going to worry about it. Except for the sake of trying to find all the things. Find it all. Yeah, it definitely was nice going to that uh, fighting Moog with having this red bubble here. So I didn't have to automatically get drained of health from him. Ah, another stone sword key. Very nice. Ah, and Haley Drake Talisman plus two. Very nice. That's really all I'm doing is just trying to do a cursory check of all the things. Oh, hey. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> just wanted to say hello. How are you? Hope I don't miss anything. Now, maybe it's only a certain time of day that the guy, the thing invades that I was thinking of. I don't think so, though. But, you know, that always could be the case. What's coming up from underneath? Oh, God. I'm going to say nothing important. I really, really thought that there was an invader. And this is actually kind of driving me crazy that I don't know where it is. And it's not coming. Maybe I was just, I don't know. I don't know. Huh. All right. Well, I'm going to say that this area is done. <laughs> this area that I'm not a fan of. And you know what? Oh, wait. I was going to warp. What the hell? Oh, this is the spot. Oh, you can't leave this way. I mean, I guess you can, but you're not supposed to. Now I want to find the way that you're supposed to leave. That's the great mystery now. Maybe I'll find some things by doing it, you know? It'll be, uh, it'll be a cool adventure. Uh, wait. This is where I meant to go through before, so... That was actually where I was trying to go when I went to that dead-end area. So, perfect. This is where I was hoping for. Kind of all worked out. I think that this is just the other area I could have run down to, actually. Yeah, let's do it that way. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, God. No, this is not going to be good. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. I just wanted to get that. Ash of War, Blood Tax. And another Summer Smithing Stone 9. Blood Tax. Cool. All the things are coming together. Yeah, I think this is, um... I think this is where I was running down before. I'm fairly certain that yep it is because to the left there is where i was so we've completed the circle 
Although, unfortunately, now I don't have my, uh, my flask, but yeah, whatever. Whatever. Alright, Heroes Room 4. Follow. Whatever this may be. Smithing Stone 8. And it's actually going to start to get to the point where it'd be faster if I warp from the other one. To be honest. Oh my god, so many caves here that I didn't remember about. Hey, how about that? That's nice. I can just kind of chill, go through. Swarm of flies. Oh my god. Spell I didn't realize was here. I wonder if I missed that in my main game. Alright, I gotta look at Swarm of Flies. I know I got the Ash of War, but they pretty rarely have uh, lore stuff on them. A swarm of Flies. Oh my god, there's so many things. Ah, no! Ah, no! Is this protecting me from those guys? Oh, god. It kind of felt like it was. Like I wasn't getting hurt as much as I could have been getting hurt. Alright, Swarm of Flies is the one I gotta look at soon. Oh great, and now's this area. With these guys who summon these things. That like kinda just like murder you in one hit basically. But yeah, so if you find these guys and kill them, you're good, but I I don't know, I found it like weirdly difficult for whatever reason when I was doing it the first time. Uh, let's go this way, actually. Rune Arc. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, look. One of these guys. I found him. And I see the other one over there. If I can get these guys without having them summon the skeletons, that would be so great. Because that's the real terror of them. Okay. Hey, cool. Alright, three of them are taken care of at least. Sacramental butt. Uh oh. No! Wait, your own guy just hurt you? That's kind of funny, actually. Oh god. Yeah, I saw that blast. I saw that was coming. You just summoned a guy who doesn't mind killing you. It's not very smart of you. Oh god. Well, I appreciate him taking out his own summoner. <laughs> That's nice. You know, that actually went pretty smoothly. Smoother than I thought it would be, to be honest. This whole area has gone a lot smoother. I mean, like, I did take a bunch of tries with Moog. But I, I actually thought it was going to take way more than that. Since the first time I fought him, I think it took me like an hour or two. So, I mean, it definitely helps that I had the, uh, the charm that I used and everything else that I used. But I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, like, the, this bubble that I have over me, for example. I don't feel like I, like, was too cheap about it or anything. I don't think. Still didn't use my mimic tears, so <laughs> how about that? All right. Well, there's a chance I might have missed something, but I'm gonna hope that I didn't. And this is uh, right back to. Wait a second. Why is it making me get off my horse? Oh, because. Yeah, it was just. I thought that there was like a PVP thing about to happen, but I guess it's just considered an area where you can't use your horse, even though you're outside. Just double checking for items. And I guess that's probably it. So if there's anything I missed, let me know. I'll check Swarm of Flies. But after checking out Swarm of Flies, I guess that'll be everything for me. And I'll be able to go the Halig Tree route after this. And yeah, this should be my first zone. Yeah, here we go. Cool. Let me change my Wondrous Physic first before I forget, actually. Temporarily, uh, let's see. I want the one that Selly restores HP. Okay, cool. And yeah, all right. So let's check out Swarm of Flies. Oops. I guess it's gonna be one of these. Okay, incantation. A blood oath incantation shared from the lower of blood's power releases a swarm of blood flies before the caster dissolve foes. The vile swarm deals damage and builds up onset of blood loss. This incantation can be cast while in motion. The new palace of the Lord of Blood lies in a swamp of festering blood, and these flies are said to spawn from excrement in that land. 
Gross. <laughs> Ew. All right, let's also take a look at this new skill, Rash of War, that I got. Usable on armaments capable of thrusting. Colossal weapons accepted. No! This is a shame. Even though this weapon has a set skill. All right, well, that's going to wrap me up. So thank you guys so much for joining. I appreciate it. Uh, I guess I think that's it for the underground unless there's something I'm missing that I forgot about I think that wraps up the underground so yeah next episode we'll head up north do a bunch of consecrated snowfield stuff got a whole lot to do here like there's a couple dungeons here I didn't do yet um, like cave of the forlorn right there um, but yeah then got this whole area and into the halig tree so <laughs> to the hardest boss of the game so thank you guys so much for joining. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Later, guys. Peace.